I'm Brad Creer, South Central Field Epidemiologist with the Minnesota Department of Health. Well, seasonal influenza is a respiratory illness, so meaning it causes things like cough, uh, fever, sore throat, those sorts of things. Now, you'll also hear people call things the stomach flu, uh, and that usually has to do with vomiting, diarrhea, things like that. Uh, and that's a gastrointestinal illness or a stomach illness. Um, it's, it's just easier to call it the stomach flu. That lasts about 24 to 48 hours, but it's usually caused by a, a virus, a norovirus or something similar. Uh, but it's not a respiratory illness. That is a, a gastrointestinal or stomach illness. Uh, when you're looking at seasonal influenza, like I said, that is a respiratory illness. So that's really going to affect your lungs. It's going to affect your breathing. Uh, you're going to have the cough. You're going to have the fever. You're going to have the tiredness. For the most part, it's a respiratory illness, so it's spread um, from droplets for the most part. Um, droplets is mainly three feet, so if I'm coughing or sneezing, people within three feet of me. Uh, there are some smaller particles that they believe can, you know, dissipate throughout farther than three feet, so they're saying, you know, six feet, maybe even farther. Um, so again, if there's somebody sick in your office or something like that, it can certainly spread pretty quickly. Um, another thing with it is it can survive on surfaces. Now, the question we often get is how long will it live on the desk? Or how how long will it live on this pen? And that's really, really difficult to say. There are so many different variables involved with temperatures and direct sunlight and all these sorts of things. But it definitely can live on inanimate objects. So uh, it is something so when you touch a door handle or when you touch something and if you, you know, don't lick your hands or eat something or so it is definitely possible to spread that way. But the main way that we do see it spread is from person to person. Those people who are coughing, those people who are sneezing, those people who are, are, are sick, you know, and just kind of miserable and, and, and uh, you know, are still going out and, and being around people. Usually symptoms will last anywhere from five to seven days, but it can last, you know, up to two weeks, you know, it's kind of depending on, you know, to be fully recovered from it. You know, the symptoms will, will kind of uh, wane or go away over time, but, uh, you know, sometimes to be back to normal, it takes almost two weeks in some individuals. You, you can treat your symptoms, you know, your fever, your headaches, with some of those over-the-counter things. Um, but if it truly is influenza, the sooner you get in uh, to get uh, your, your antivirals or your medications, um, the, the, the more effective that they will be, uh, and it can actually reduce the length of your illness. So uh, it's better not to wait, especially if there's a lot of influenza in the area. Um, you know, if, you, if they're starting to see it, if it is that flu season, you know, that winter time, so anywhere from basically October to, to uh, you know, April and May, if you're seeing those respiratory illness, that cough, that fever, kind of hits you pretty quick too. Uh, it's better not to wait. Uh, it's better to get in as soon as possible and try to, uh, again, have, have a physician see you and, and uh, you know, see if you do need treatment and, and hopefully that can prevent your illness from getting worse. And also it, it prevents you from spreading it to others. But, but the vaccine is still the best thing that we have. Uh, when you're looking at, at, at uh, you know, protection, uh, even if it's only 60% effective, uh, not getting it is 0% effective. So again, if, you, if you're a betting man, you're going to take that 60% over 0% any day. Um, and again, it's not 100% effective. So even people who did get the shot can get influenza and can get sick. Uh, research is kind of pointing to those uh, people are less likely to get uh, severe illness. Um, so even if, if you do get, if, even if you do get influenza, uh, um, even though you got the flu shot, um, it, it, uh, and evidence has shown that it seems to be uh, milder. Influenza shot cannot give you influenza. So it is an inactivated virus, which means that it's uh, uh, basically a virus that cannot reproduce. Uh, the flu shot anyways is that uh, if you get the, the nasal spray, the, the uh, live, that's a live attenuated virus, um, that basically means it's a weakened virus. So it, it, it will be able to reproduce, um, but, that's, uh, but it's, it's, it uh, has the things that make it severe, the things that make you sick are taken out of it. Obviously, with any vaccine, you are, you know, you can't have pain at the injection site. Uh, sometimes you might have a runny nose or stuffy nose, uh, you know, even sometimes low-grade fever, things like that. Um, but they're very mild, especially compared to influenza, which is very high fever, cough, headaches, malaise, you know, sometimes hospitalizations, and sometimes death. 
even before your symptoms start, uh, you can transmit the influenza. So that's always a concern. They say 24 hours even before your main symptoms start. So that's why we definitely want you to also wash your hands. You know, when you are touching door handles, if you are touching keyboards, if you know, whatever you are touching, you know, it's really important to wash your hands and not just for influenza, for basically anything out there. Um, but for influenza in particular, when we're talking about that, it is a really effective strategy. Uh, again, uh, covering your cough. So if you do have a cough when you do start to get sick, you know, to make sure that you cover that up. Um, and then definitely, you know, go home when you're sick, you know. Um, you know, it, it, you can feel like you're, you're doing the right thing by going into work and being brave and, and uh, you know, you've got work to do, but you also have coworkers who have work to do. So if you go in and expose all of them, then they're sick and they can't do their work either. So you're not actually doing anybody any favors by going to work sick. You're actually, you know, ruining productivity or, or hurting productivity. Families are getting together and maybe you haven't seen somebody in a long time. So to say, you know, I'm sick, but you know, I haven't seen so-and-so for a long time. Well, especially when, if you have older family members, you know, they're at highest risk or they're one of the high risk groups for uh, severe illness with influenza. So uh, we definitely want to make sure uh, that you're not exposing them. Um, so, so it's definitely better to stay home and maybe send an email or give them a call or Skype them or whatever to talk to them rather than exposing them to, to the germs and possibly, you know, to a very severe illness. Because this could be a very mild flu season, it could be a very severe flu season, uh, and, and we really don't know until it's happening uh, what it will be. So I think the best, uh, our best plan is to plan ahead. It doesn't really change that much influenza. I mean, there can be different strains and maybe some, some uh, different uh, aspects to those strains, but for the most part, the symptoms are going to be the same, how it spreads is going to be the same. Uh, it, so it's pretty much constant uh, that it will be there, it's just how severe it will be. So planning ahead is, is the best bet. The big takeaway message with this is, is that, uh, you know, nothing is 100% effective. So uh, when it comes to preventing influenza, the main weapon that we have, the best weapon that we have is really that influenza vaccine. Now, again, it's not 100% perfect, uh, not 100% effective, but, you know, even if it's only 60% effective, 60% is certainly better than 0%. So um, it is the best thing that we have. Um, and uh, we really recommend that you get that to prevent illness and protect yourself and protect your family and protect everyone around you.